So today we're going to talk about code igniter models uh, and all the built-in functionality that comes with using the code igniter models. So since the last video, um, what I did was just go into my M file and just set the base URL that we didn't have and then set a connection to a database. I also created a, a database here, as you can see, and it's called blog and has just one table called articles. And let's just, uh, let's leave this articles here so we can have something to show here. So let's say you wanted to interact with the, the articles table and wanted to get all the articles from the, the article table. So let's create a model for that. So let's say I want a model and I'll call it article model and I'll save it into our models folder. The models, like any other class in coding editor, should always start with the uh, uppercase uh, letter. And the same thing goes to the, the class. So I put this as a, a few things that you uh, can set up uh, so that the basic functionality of the coding editor model can work. So the first thing is the table name. So our table name is called articles. Then you say the primary key is called ID. And this, the return type, is where you say how you want your data. You want it as an array or as an object when you get the data from the database. So let's say I want it as an object. Now we have the use of deletes function. Um, but as you can see, the table that I created just have the created that and updated that doesn't have any deleted that or any field that sets if the record is deleted or not. So we're not using soft deletes here. So let's set this to false. Then you have the allowed fields um, property. This allows you to set the number of fields, number and the name of the fields that the model should have interaction with and allow data to come through the model into the database. So in this case, I don't want ID in there or created that or updated that. I just want title and content to go in there. So since this is an array, just say title and content. Then we have the option to use timestamps. Since we have created that and updated that here, we can just say this is true, remove the deleted field, and uh, now the code igniter model will fill this ones for us. We, we don't have to worry about the updated that and the created that uh, fields. Then you have the validation rules and the validation uh, messages, but we'll go into that uh, in a few moments. So in our um, C uh, controller called blog, we just displaying uh, this no view, no nothing. But let's say I wanted to display the two articles that I have right here. So to do that, first I need to declare the namespace and load the model into the controller. So this will be app models article model. Sorry. And then I'll remove this. And then I say article equals to new article model. And now I have access to the article model class. Now to access the, the data from that specific table, all I have to do is just say data articles. And this will be article find all and then we're just going to create 
a, a simple view to display the articles. So let's return the view and let's put it into blog index and let's send the data into it. So if I refresh this, I'll get a bunch of errors because I don't have the, the, the view created yet. So there's the view exception. So let's create the view. Let's go into the views, create a new folder, call it blog, and then create the view called index.php. And now let's just create a list. And then since if I go here and I just debug the data articles, as you can see, I have an object with all my articles here. So to show that data, I just interact them like do articles, article. I put this in here. And now I'll show the article title. Okay, so let's remove the dump and die and now I have my articles. So this for now is uh, quite straightforward, but now let's say I want to create a new article. So before this, let's put a, a link here and let's send to site URL and let's send it to blog create new article okay now I have a, a link for it but if I create if I click here I get a 404 because I haven't created a um, function that will deal with the, the article creation so 404 so if I do now a public function create Now I don't have a 404, but I, I'm not displaying anything. So the first thing I need to do is just create a view with a form. So let's return the view and let's put it into blog create. Let's create the view into our views folder, our blog folder and call it create.php. And now let's create the form. I'll be using the form helper to do this. Okay. Just to open and close the form. And then I'll just use, create some labels for the title. Break here. The input will be text, will be named title. One more break and another one and another label for the content. Another break and this one will be a text area and will be called content as well. Then I'll need another break and another one and a button to submit the form. Let's say it's type submit and then submit. So now I'll have the form, but I get an error because I'm using the helper, but I'm not loading the helper anywhere. But if I go into our controller and just say protected helpers, and then just give it an array and say that I need the form helper. This is how you auto load uh, an helper into a, a controller because your base controller has this protected property here that will handle all your um, helpers that you need. So if I refresh this, I'll get my form. But let's try and submit it. If I submit this, nothing happens because I'm just 
showing a view. I'm not processing the data that is coming from the, the form. So first of all, let's just put an if here. And we, we want, it, want this if to run only if it is a post. And let's just show the post data and see if everything is uh, okay with it. So if I submit, I have the title and I have my content. So this is okay to submit and this is okay to send into the model. So how do we do this? It's quite easy. So first thing first, we need the model here again. And then uh, the insert method uh, that we're going to use will return a true or false. So it's a boolean. So we can put it into an if statement. So let's do if article insert and then this request get post. And what this does is send all the data that comes into our post data into the insert method that the coding neither method uh, model supports. And if, if this happens uh, without any problems, we're going to redirect back into our index. So let's return redirect to, in this case, block. Let's put everything there. But in case this fails, we want to show errors. I'm not going to go into showing the errors into the views and stuff like that. We'll have plenty of time to do so. So let's just show the errors here. So in case this fails, your article model will give you the errors. So we can just show them here like that. So let's submit this again. And now I have my article. Let's create another one. And submit and another one. Okay, so far so good. So we can list all our articles and we can create all our articles. What about if I want to update one article? So the first thing we need to do is create a specific link for each article so it can be updated. So we can do this here and just do site URL. And then we'll send the user into blog update article ID and call this update. So now you have a specific link for each article. This one goes here into a 404. And why is that? Because we still don't have an update function. So let's create one. As you can see here, the update function will get the ID. So let's put it here. And then I'm not going to validate if the ID is valid, if the ID exists. For now, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to go into the update functionality. Um, and for now, if I refresh this, I'll get a blank page because I don't have an, uh, uh, an update view. So let's go into the create view and let's duplicate this. And let's call it update. And here, I'm going to fill the, the form with the data that comes from the database, obviously. So value, article, title. And this one will be article content. So if I refresh this, nothing happens. Why is that? because I'm still not returning the view. So let's do that. Return view blog update. So what will happen now is the view will load, but I'll get an error because I'll get an error saying that I don't have uh, an article variable. 
as you can see, undefined variable article. Why is that? Because first of all, I'm not sending anything into the view, so I'm just loading the view. And your update function, uh, update view is, it needs this uh, variable, this object to, to operate. So what we're gonna do is load the article model again, and then let's set the data. So data, article, and then let's get the specific article with the ID 10 in this case. So let's say article find ID. And then let's send the data into the view. And now I have my data into my form. But I, I'm still not processing the data. So if I submit this, nothing will happen. This will be just the same thing. So how are we going to go about that? So it's just the same thing as in the, the create uh, function. So we just check if we are in the post request. We don't need this anymore because we're we're loading the, the article model here, uh, even if it's not a post request because we need it here. But in this case, we're not inserting anything. We need to update. So just change this to update. And we still need to send the, the post data into the, the model. But since this is an update, we need to tell the model which article are we updating. So that's the first thing we need to do is send the ID into the update function. And then we send the data. And then we will redirect to the index function again. So this will be our updated article. I'll submit. And now I have my updated article. So that was quite easy. And now we just need to delete the articles. First thing, we need to add the functionality here. So let's just add another link here. And let's call it delete. And let's call it delete. Okay, so now all of them have a delete link. That if I click, I'll get a 404 because it's the same thing. I don't have the, fun the function created yet. So let's just say I want to create that. So let's public function delete. If I can type correctly. And this one will need the ID as well. And then this one will be the easiest one because I'm not going to validate if the article exists, if everything went okay. So I'll just going to delete and redirect the user into the index function again. So to do that, it's quite easy. You just do article, delete, ID. That's it. And now you return to the same place. So in this case, we'll return to the index again. So if I refresh this, I get an error because it's delete, not delete. And the article is gone. So with just a model like this, we were able to create some basic crude functionality uh, and in a, a quick and easy way. Uh, if you go into the documentation here, you can see that we have uh, a lot more that goes into the models, the coding item models actually, because here you can uh, say that you want just a specific uh, uh, kind of data, that you want just data with a specific parameters, with a, a where, uh, you can say that you want just some columns and not all the columns. Uh, you can say that you just want the first one, or you can limit data. Uh, there's there's a lot of things that you can unpack here. But for now, I just wanted to show you um, the basic crude functionality built into the coding model. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you do, 
If you did enjoy the video, please consider subscribing and give it a like. It helps a lot. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.